Welcome back to the Rock Coder Space Invaders tutorial. In this session, we're going to add different invader types and some animations and some sound effects. We'll start off with the animations. If you look at the invader sprite, there are six invaders there. There's actually three different ones with two costumes for each one. 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B. So the first step is we want the top row to be type 1, then two rows of type 2, and two rows of type 3. So when we create the invaders, as we're creating the rows invaders, let's use the indexed index variable to see which row we're on. So we'll start off with index of 1 and when we've finished a row we'll increase the index. So we'll change the index by 1. So the index is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 depending on which row we're on. I'm going to add a variable called invader type this is going to be for this sprite only. And I'm going to set that so that when I'm creating the different rows, I'll say if I'm creating the top row or if index equals one, And I'm going to use invader type 1. If I'm on index 2 or 3, so if index is less than 4, I'm going to use the second invader type. So I'll just duplicate that line and put it in there. And for the final two rows, I'll use the third invader type. So I can put that code in here. So now I have the invader type set. I need to actually display the correct invader. Also, I want it to toggle between the two costumes for each invader. So let's add a new variable and let's call it costume offset. This is for all sprites, costume offset. This costume offset is just going to toggle between two different costumes. So when I finish creating, this is, this is the create invaders block at the bottom of this I will set costume offset to zero. Now we'll move over to update invaders. Every time I move the invaders I want the costume to flip over between the two costumes. So to do that I'll simply set costume offset to one minus costume offset. And I will put that in just before I move them. So if costume offset is 1, it becomes 0. If costume offset is 0, it becomes 1. It just flips between the two. Now the final part is to actually display the invader clones correctly. At the moment, I'm always displaying 3A. What I want to do is display the correct invader type. So if the costume offset is zero. I 
then I want to switch costume let's put that there it's costume offset is zero I want to switch costume two this is where I join because the invader types are one two and three and the costumes are a b and c so I'm going to join the invader type with a for costume offset zero and if costume offset isn't zero I'm going to switch costume to the invader type and B. That should switch nicely between the invader costumes. So if we have a look at this, I've now got different types of invaders all animating as they move. The bomb still looks slightly bland, but that should be animating too. So I'll go into the bomb. We'll add a counter variable for the sprite only. When we start the clone, we'll set the counter to zero. And as we update it in the update of the sprites, we'll change the counter each time. So change counter by one. And then we're going to swap between costumes bomb one and bomb two. So we did something similar to this for the player sprites explosion. We're going to switch costume and we want to do it Every four frames, we're going to change costume between bomb one and bomb two. So, as we did for the player, we will use the floor of counter divided by four. mod 2 plus 1 which will give us a value that swaps between 1 and 2 and so I can switch the costume to join bomb and then this value and that will swap between bomb 1 and bomb two. So if I have a quick look in the game, when the bomb's dropping, they're now animating slightly as they come down the screen, which is quite pleasant. So let's add some sound effects to the game. Start with the obvious ones. When the player fires his missile, we want to make a sound effect. So when he fires his missile, we will start sound fire and now another one when we hit an invader so that'll be in the collision detection if i'm touching a missile then i'll be hit so let's play a sound effect there as well that would be start sound invader hit now, when the player is hit by a bomb, we want to play a sound. So if he's touching the bomb, let's play player hit. And finally, for now, we want some beats in the background to build up tension. So we'll go back to the invader code. And we'll set a new variable called sound. When I create a new wave, which is almost hidden there, when I create some more invaders, I'm going to set sound to one. 
Now we play a sound every time the invaders move. So we'll go back to update invaders. Now, what we want to do in here is every time we move, we'll change the sound variable by one. So change sound by one. We've got four different background noises. So if the sound reaches a fifth, we go back to the first. So if sound reaches a fifth, we'll set it back to the first. We'll put that in after the change sound and then we need to actually play the sound effect. So we'll start the sound and it's called beat one, beat two, beat three or beat four. So we'll use join the beat and the sound variable. So now when I play the game when I get blown up. There we go, great. So we have animations and sound effects. In the next tutorial we're going to look at polishing off the final details of the game.